One of my loyal subscribers, Arching123, has posted a video in response to my reply video to Chris Putnam's Resurrection Challenge. Archie begins, Good evening everybody, I am uh, replying to uh, a recent video I've just watched on YouTube uh, by Brett P. Palmer. Uh, the upload is um, listed as answering the resurrection challenge. As part of Archie's reply, he notes that the first century, when Jesus supposedly lived, died, and was resurrected, was a time without modern recording conveniences. Obviously at that time uh, there was no cameras and there was no photography and those cine movies, cine movies, so no films or photographs could have been taken. <coughs> so it was purely uh, recorded down our manuscripts and books. Well then... Mm, every time I look at you I don't understand Why you let the things you did get so out of hand You'd have managed better if you'd had it planned no, why'd you choose such a backward time in such a strange land? If you'd come today, you could have reached the whole nation. Israel in for BC had no mass communication. Don't you get me wrong? Don't you get me wrong? <laughs> Seriously, though, Archie wants to know how I feel about the prophecies made about Jesus in the Old Testament books of Isaiah and Daniel. He references the Qumran discoveries of the oldest copies of these books, but I'm not really sure why. No one disputes that the biblical books of Isaiah and Daniel were written well before the first century CE. Nonetheless, he asks, The point uh, Brett has missed and I'd like him to address, and uh, Phil, he's overlooked one of the major issues regarding evidence or circumstantial evidence for the life uh, the death and resurrection of Jesus uh, I will now address. Now about 300 years before uh, Jesus uh, came onto the earth there were records, uh, there have been records found uh, in the cave of Quan Ran uh, called the Dead Sea Scrolls and on these Dead Sea Scrolls uh, predominantly in the book of Isaiah and Daniel and a few of the Old Testament uh, records, Psalms there are records and writings and prophecies regarding the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If this were true we'd find clear mention of the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ in these Old Testament books but we don't. The name Jesus doesn't appear once in any of these books, nor do the names of Herod, John the Baptist, Pontius Pilate, any of the disciples, or any other character from the New Testament tales. So, in answering the resurrection challenge, I am asking Brett, how could those writings have um, co coincided, those old writings 300 years before Christ, coincided with uh, the writings that were made during the time of Christ and after his death. Because they don't, first of all. These so-called prophecies were not in reference to the Jesus of Christian faith. Also, the fulfillment of these prophecies cannot be verified outside the New Testament Gospels, which explicitly state that Jesus fulfilled them. So you have two possibilities here. You can pick one or the other, or combine them if you like. Either one is far more likely than genuine prophecy and prophecy fulfillment. One possibility is that the authors of the Gospels scoured the Old Testament books and created stories about Jesus, which they then claimed were the fulfillment of the prophecies. In this sense, the entire narrative of fulfilled prophecy is a fiction. Another possibility is that Jesus really existed, and it was he who believed he found prophecies in the Old Testament books, and so deliberately set out to fulfill them, creating circumstances or simply announcing, today this prophecy is fulfilled, without much else. 
And of course there is the combination of the two above possibilities with a dash of coincidence here and there to round it out. But the point is, any of these possibilities, or others I may not be aware of, are far more likely than the pronouncement and fulfillment of genuine prophecy. You'd have to negate even the most minute possibility of non-genuine prophecy fulfillment before genuine prophecy fulfillment could even be considered. So I hope that answers your question, Archie. Um, however, you do have one more question for me. And also, just as a uh, development of the theme, uh, not only regarding Jesus Christ, there are approximately 10,285 prophecies in the Bible and everyone up to this time has come true without one single exception. That's not true. Read up on the prophecies regarding Tyre and Egypt. The prophecies regarding Egypt are my personal favorites. I have an article devoted to failed biblical prophecies on my website. You just need to follow the link in the description box below. Let me know if you have any questions. Like to get to me on that one Brett and um, see what you think on it because I don't think you can answer me on this you see it's stuff like this what's the matter where are you going are you chicken that's it isn't it nothing but a little chicken